it gives me great pleasure to welcome you to the third international conference Latin America and the Caribbean based, organized by the Slovenian Foreign Ministry under the umbrella of the Blit Strategic Forum. As so many things in the last year, this edition of the Luck Days will be virtual. Although we would value in-person discussion, we nevertheless hope that this format will allow even more people to participate. Since 2018, when the first Luck Days conference took place, our main objective has been to bring Slovenia closer to the Luck region and the Luck region closer to Slovenia. The relations between our countries have always been friendly and constructive, funded on shared values and strong people-to-people -people ties, largely because of the still vibrant Slovenian diaspora in some Latin American countries. During the almost 30 years of official diplomatic relations, we have managed to form mutually beneficial bilateral partnership and develop excellent cooperation within the United Nations and other global institutions. Our efforts nationally, regionally and globally, are now focused on combating the pandemic. Experience teaches us that every crisis gives the rise to new opportunities. We firmly believe that building on our relation in all spheres of common interest, from political dialogue to trade, investment, science, technology, culture and education, has great potential which we should exploit. With some luck countries, Slovenia has recently expanded traditional areas of cooperation by launching thematic discussion on topical issues such as artificial intelligence, digitalization, circular economy and water management. Working together in these areas demonstrates our common determination to jointly tackle the challenges of the present and the future. This year's conference is special to us. On 1st July, Slovenia will take over the six-month presidency of the Council of the European Union. During our first presidency in 2008, Slovenia and Peru co-chaired the fifth EULAC summit. One of our 2021 presidency priorities will be a secure European Union as a reliable and good partner in the neighborhood and in the world. Here, I wish to reaffirm that for Slovenia, the EU relations with Latin America and the Caribbean remain of strategic importance. We share the same values of democracy, human rights and the rule of law as well as a strong commitment to effective multilateralism and the rule-based international order. Unfortunately, the crisis in Venezuela has affected formal relations between the two regions. While we remain deeply concerned over the situation in that country, the eu lag dialogue should be reinvigorated. During our EU presidency, Slovenia will continue to support policies and initiatives aimed at strengthening the eu lac partnership. We hope for the progress regarding the agreement between the EU and Mercosur, Mexico and Chile, respectively. We believe that they will benefit our national economies by opening up new opportunities in trade, investment and job creation. They will also send a message of confidence that the global economy desperately needs. This message must also emphasize the importance of sustainable development and environmental protection for this planet that needs to sustain generations to come. I would like to thank our domestic and international partners who helped make this conference possible. In particular, I wish to acknowledge the instrumental role of the eu -LAC Foundation, its Reflection Forum, this afternoon will address the contribution of the B Regional Strategic Partnership to the shaping of a greener recovery. I'm also very grateful to my colleagues from a number of EU and LAC countries who contributed their own video messages on the relevance of B Regional cooperation. Their addresses will be posted on the Ministry's social media during the, this week. In conclusion, I wish all participants many fruitful deliberation and creative ideas on how to bring us ever closer together. When the situation finally allows, we hope to be able to welcome you to Slovenia. A fine occasion will be the Fort Lac Days Conference, which we plan to hold in the second half of 2022. Thank you.